Antithyroid autoantibodies are autoantibodies targeted against one or more components on the thyroid. The most clinically relevant antithyroid autoantibodies are antithyroid peroxidase antibodies, thyrotropin receptor antibodies and thyroglobulin antibodies. Traps are subdivided into activating, blocking and neutral antibodies, depending on their effect on the TSH receptor. Anti-sodium iodide's important antibodies are a more recent discovery and their clinical relevance is still unknown. Graves' disease and Hashimoto's thyroiditis are commonly associated with the presence of antithyroidal antibodies. Although there is overlap, anti-TPO antibodies are most commonly associated with Hashimoto's thyroiditis and activating traps are most commonly associated with Graves' disease. Thyroid microsomal antibodies were a group of antithyroid antibodies, they were renamed after the identification of their target antigen. Subtypes, antithyroid antibodies can be subdivided into groups according to their target antigen. Equals anti-TPO antibodies equals, antithyroid peroxidase antibodies are specific for the autoantigen TPO, a 105 k dark like a protein that catalyzes iodine oxidation and thyroglobulin tyrosyl iodination reactions in the thyroid gland. Most antibodies produced are directed to conformational epitopes of the aminogenic carboxyl terminal region of the TPO protein, although antibodies to linear epitopes have been seen. Anti TPO antibodies are the most common antithyroid autoantibody present in approximately 90% of Hashimoto's thyroiditis, 75% of Graves' disease and 10 to 20% of nodular goiter or thyroid carcinoma. Also, 10 to 15% of normal individuals can have high-level anti-TPO antibody typers. High serum antibodies are found in active phase chronic autoimmune thyroiditis. Thus, an antibody titer can be used to assess disease activity in patients that have developed such antibodies. The majority of anti-TPO antibodies are produced by thyroid infiltrating lymphocytes, with minor contributions from lymph nodes and the bone marrow. They cause thyroid cell damage by complement activation and antibody-dependent cell cytotoxicity. However, anti-TPO antibodies are not believed to contribute significantly to the destruction of the thyroid equals TSH receptor antibodies equals, the thyrotropin receptor is the antigen for TSH receptor antibodies. It is a 7-transmembrane G protein coupled receptor that is involved in thyroid hormone signaling. Traps are grouped depending on their effects on receptor signaling. Activating antibodies, blocking antibodies and neutral antibodies. Activating and blocking antibodies mostly bind to conformational epitopes, whereas neutral antibodies bind to linear epitopes. Binding of the antibody to the amino terminus of the TSH receptor shows stimulatory activity, whereas binding to residues 261 to 370 or 388 to 403 block the activity. Traps are present in 70 to 100 percent of Graves' disease and 1 to 2 percent of normal individuals. Activating traps are characteristic of Graves' disease. TPO antibody is measured more easily than the TSH receptor antibody, and so is often used as a surrogate in the diagnosis of Graves' disease. These antibodies activate adenylate cyclase by binding to the TSH receptor. This causes the production of thyroid hormones and subsequent growth and vascularization of the thyroid. Traps are also useful in the diagnosis of Graves' ophthalmopathy. Although the exact mechanism of how traps induce graves of thalmopathy is unknown, it is likely that the antibodies bind to TSH receptors in retroorbital tissues, causing infiltration of lymphocytes. This inflammatory response leads to cytokine production that causes fibroblasts to produce glycosaminoglycans, leading to ophthalmopathy. Blocking traps competitively block the activity of TSH on the receptor. This can cause hyperthyroidism by reducing the thyrotropic effects of TSH. They are found in Hashimoto's thyroiditis and Graves' disease and may be cause of fluctuation of thyroid function in the latter. During treatment of Graves' disease they may also become the predominant antibody, which can cause hyperthyroidism. The clinical and physiological relevance of neutral antibodies remains unclear. However, they may be involved in prolonging the TSH receptor half-life. 
equals thyroglobulin antibodies equals thyroglobulin antibodies are specific for thyroglobulin, a 660k DAR matrix protein involved in the process of thyroid hormone production. They are found in 70% of Hashimoto's thyroiditis, 60% of idiopathic hyperthyroidism, 30% of Graves' disease, a small proportion of thyroid carcinoma and 3% of normal individuals. Anti-TPO antibodies are present in 99% of cases where thyroglobulin antibodies are present, however only 35% of anti-TPO antibody positive cases also demonstrate thyroglobulin antibodies. Equals anti-uronar plus slash ES importer equals, anti-nar plus slash ES importer antibodies are a more recent discovery of possible thyroid autoantibodies and their role in thyroid disease remains uncertain. They are present in approximately 20% of Graves' disease and 24% of Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Pathogenesis The production of antibodies in Graves' disease is thought to arise by activation of CD4 plus T cells, followed by B cell recruitment into the thyroid. These B cells produce antibodies specific to the thyroid antigens. In Hashimoto's thyroiditis, Activated CD4 plus T cells produce interferon I-cubed, causing the thyroid cells to display MHC class II molecules. This expands the autoreactive T cell repertoire and prolongs the inflammatory response. While antithyroid antibodies are used to track the presence of autoimmune thyroiditis, they are generally not considered to contribute directly to the destruction of the thyroid. Effect on human reproduction the presence of antithyroid antibodies is associated with an increased risk of unexplained subfertility, miscarriage, recurrent miscarriage, preterm birth and maternal postpartum thyroiditis. History In 1912 Hashimoto described hyperthyroidism and goiter associated with thyroid lymphoid infiltration. In 1956 the anti-TG antibody was detected in similar cases, elucidating the autoimmune cause of these characteristics. Later the same year, activating TSH receptor antibodies were discovered. Thyroid microsomal antibodies were discovered in 1964, which were subsequently renamed anti-TPO antibodies due to the identification of their autoantigen. References <laughs>